June 12, 2019, um, taking this morning off work to go out and pack up my gear for traveling this weekend, uh, heading up the Cherry Valley Outdoor Games uh, this Friday. Hopefully I'll make it back Sunday night so I don't miss much work on Monday, but that's the way it happens. That's part of the, the joy of this sport. Um, you burn the midnight oil so you can play. But in any event, uh, today just going to pack up gear. Probably I want to do a couple tree runs and I also want to do a couple hot saw runs. Stock saw obviously probably one underhand, one standing, uh, one single. I don't need any more than that. Uh, and just to get more comfortable on the boards and get more comfortable with my hot saw. And um, this weekend should be fun. It's supposed to be raining all weekend, unfortunately, so uh, that's going to suck. But that's part of the game, and that's the reason why you wear spike shoes. Uh, so take it for what it's worth move, and move on. Um, I probably will run some good, some good gear today. Uh, I'm just going to go through the closets make sure I've got all the ones that I want to take with me and I want to test an Aspen. Um, and so uh, it will, shall be fun, and, and, and we'll have ourselves a good time. In any event, let's do it. This party started. I got a, about a little bit bigger than a 10 inch log up on this, and really, really dry right here. So I don't know how this top pocket's gonna go, but I just wanted to get a good race in to see how it felt. So um, trying to do, simulate its conditions, and let's have some fun. Busted the shit out of the axe in the top hole. So, bleh. over from the championship with Webster so this is an axe I didn't use in the block I just want to try it in the block um, it's a big 88 brute forge so yeah last cut in the single I think I was a little too close I measured that out at 49 inches which is normally a little wide for me but it just didn't feel right so I may open it up a little bit more and make another cut here directly just to make sure that I got this foot spacing correct I turned uh, 13 inch log uh, with a 48 so yeah.
from that training session, I learned I need to pin my freaking hot saw throttle. So I'll go that know that going into Cherry Valley this weekend. So and that's nothing new. That's just me being rusty running the darn motor. But I'm glad it's running well, and that I'm glad it's starting, and I'm glad I can get three cuts off with it. Um, and uh, you know the springboard I busted that axe. Then that was just more. I went through a knot. You know, yeah, that happens when you hit a knot with a thin axe, especially a tulip knot. And I knew it was going to be dry wood. I didn't think it was going to take it off, but there was a knot there, and so that's the reason why the edge fell off. Um, just you know, it just needs to be reground. It's no big deal. So, you know, cut the underhand and standing. Fair to Midland. Uh, single buck was kind of shitty, but I felt bunched up in there in the cut. So be mindful of that this weekend and see what happens Just go have some fun you know that's the reason why I do this stuff is something to do you know keep me sane from work you know with uh, being a civil litigator one of the things I have to do every day is argue you know I just got a motion denied uh, in one of my cases that's going to require a writ of prohibition because the judge in my opinion made a mistake uh, and so I've got to uh, attack that with full force and see what happens. And uh, it's the same intensity at which I attack this stuff. So let's have fun.